We're talking this week about the counsel and the promises of God's unmerited favor. And I get that terminology out of Acts 20.32 in the Amplified, which I'll read to you now. And now I commend you to God, placing you in His protective, loving care. I commend you to the word of His grace, the counsel and the promises of His unmerited favor. Yesterday, we talked about the fact that the counsel and promises of God are indeed based on promises. They are not just evidence-based, they are promise-based. God promises you that when you do some counsel, you will get results. But I want to focus today on the fact that God's counsel is not just based on your strength. It is based on His grace. Well, what does that really mean? It means that His counsel is not entirely up to your perfect ability to apply a coping strategy. Unlike the world who really puts a lot of pressure on you to do things perfectly and well to get results, God's counsel and promises are based on you just trying something. Try some of His counsel and He will grace and empower you. He will caress you to make it work. But the emphasis here is also on His unmerited favor. Now, what does that mean? Well, I don't know about you, but there's days when I wake up and I just feel so undeserving, so awful, so unchristian-like. I just feel that way in my, in my flesh. I feel tired. I feel grumpy. I feel sad. I feel anxious. And I feel so undeserving of a loving God, of a good God. I just don't feel great. And it's in those moments that we must remember that we can still call on Him. We can still follow His counsel. Because at the end of the day, that unmeritedness, that, that feeling of, of uh, badness does not disqualify me from His counsel. In fact, it's in those moments that I can stop trying to role play, stop trying to play Christian and actually just go to my Heavenly Father and say, Lord, I need your help. I'm going to depend on you. You see, the win in those moments is not to be perfectly free of emotions, perfectly uh, Christian-like. The win in that moment is to realize that it is in those weak moments that I can depend on God. I can call on Him. And the counsel and the promises of grace will activate in your life when you do that. In your weakest moments, call on Him. Rely on Him. I love the way Jesus talks about this to his disciples, the, the way it's interpreted in, in the message version in Matthew 6.6. 6. Listen to what Jesus says here to uh, two disciples, uh, particularly talking about a time when maybe you're feeling distressed or you're feeling uh, difficult things. Listen what he says. He says in Matthew 6.6, 6, here's what I want you to do. Find a quiet, secluded place so you won't be tempted to role play before God. Just be there as simply and honestly as you can manage. The focus will shift from you to God and you will begin to sense His grace. I love the emphasis here on the fact that you can be simple and you can be honest with Him. You can honestly say, Lord, I'm struggling today. But in those moments, He will meet you with His grace. And that's what's so wonderful about the counsel and promises of His unmerited favor is that they are based on His goodness to you and not your perfection. So remember that today and also remember you are highly favored and you are deeply loved. <music>